hello and welcome to tutorial for your channel in this video i will show you how to solve this error open virus and threat protection you can do this by searching for virus and threat protection in the start menu open it this will take you to the virus and threat protection setting scroll down till you find exclusion section and click on add or remove exclusion link give the permission yes and click on this add and exclusion button and select file now you have to navigate to where your valorant is download my is in c drive so you can see the roid game folder click on the roid game folder and from there select valorant live folder and select this valorant application file add this path first now we will add the second path you can see this shooter game folder click on this go to binaries go to win64 folder and scroll down until you find valorant win64 shipping select this and click on open so this is the second path now let's add the third path click on add and execution again select file now you have to go back where the valorant and the shooter game folder was in the live folder go to engine this time now select binaries again and go to win64 again now you have to scroll down till you find this cef sub processes now the fourth path is right client so you have to go out of the valorant folder and go to right client folder in the right client folder select this right client services and click on open now this is our fourth path and now our fifth and the last path is you have to go to your program files in c drive and in that folder you have to find droid vanguard open that folder droid vanguard and here you can see the vgc so there will be two vgc the one vgc which is black and white is the icon and the other VGC is the application. You can see the type of that also in front of that. You can see one is icon and one is application. You have to select the application one and click on open. So these are the five paths which we have to add in exclusion. You can also remove this path if you want. I will write these paths in the description also. So you can check that out if you haven't understand it. By adding this exclusion, you can ensure that Windows Defender doesn't block Valorant from running. It's important to note that excluding files from scanning does come with some potential risks. Has it mean those files will not be checked for malware? Therefore, do this step on your own risks. After completing this step, open the game again. This time run it as an administrator. You should see that the game will start working again. If none of this solution work for you, don't worry. I have a complete list dedicated to the Valorant errors. You can find the link to the playlist in the description below. If this video has helped you, please give this video a like. And if you want to support this channel, hit the subscribe button. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice day.